Kamala Harris had her first campaign speech at her campaign headquarters, and it went pretty well. Very lively and smiles. And what are conservative commentators focusing on? Well, her smile and her laughter still. They are reposting the Sean Hannity segment, which was just her laughing because conservative commentators believe that if you show someone having joy, that conservatives will be angry about it and they will want to vote to destroy that joy. Maybe they're right. Maybe that is a driving force of conservatism. You'd have to ask them. They are the ones that believe that those compilations will be what their followers will most get enraged about. But how are her supporters taking that? Well, they're making compilations of Donald Trump saying really stupid things followed by her laughing. Some have unofficial merch because we don't, of course, have official presidential campaign merch for her yet. And one of them that is really taking off is people making Make America Laugh Again. It works on a lot of levels. One, of course, it is riffing on Donald Trump's Make America Great Again. Uh, it is also making fun of the Republicans who are upset that she laughs in like a, a shirt form. People might buy that. But then, of course, it also, Make America Laugh Again is the M-A-L-A, -A, last four letters of her first name. Really uh, could be something I could see her official campaign trying to use at some point. Some are also going with Make America Love Again. Uh, definitely really enjoying that M-A-L-A -A, uh, format for the fan merch. So if you start seeing the Make America Laugh Again slogan, I see it was starting to trend on Twitter. That's what it's about. Um, and if you see uh, Diet Mountain Dew trending, J.D. Vance made a speech about how one day they'll decide that drinking Diet Mountain Dew is racist. Yeah. What a campaign.